In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. So yesterday I was a plumber, I was an electrician, I was a carpenter, and today I'm going to be a pipe fitter or something like that. Um, what I'm planning on doing while Lindsay's out at work, I'm trying to surprise her with some work around here. Back in the shower, it looks great. Yesterday I also finished off the last piece. This is all secure. Lindsay's going to put the waterproofing on it, um, but it looks great. What we're missing, and that blue tape will come off. What we're missing are the copper pipes that are going to run off the wall and come over here. And then we're going to have a stand where it comes up to support it vertically. And once we get that done, this shower will be ready for final touches, but it'll look, it'll look like it's finished. So looking like it's finished and being finished are two different things. But right now, looking like something's finished is a win because there's a lot of little nitpicky things we're going to have to go back and do period a lot of touch-up paints a lot of cleaning a lot of a lot of little things so if i can at least get it looking like it's done then we can get it to the finish line down the road but for the most part we're going to be finished with that hopefully today i'm just going to take a couple hours to work on that So here's what we've got with this shower curtain rod. It's copper pipe, couple fittings, anchors into these on the wall, down on the shelf, and then up there on the wall. It's very sturdy, sturdy enough. Definitely not one of those things you want to like trip in, in the shower and grab yourself on the pole because it'll probably come right out, especially with my weight. But anyway, it's uh, it's pretty solid. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I've got some scraps 
right here. I'm sure Lindsay has some great things to do with these or will have some because it matches kind of the rustic feel of the inside of the camper. Um, but that's where we are right now. Knowing that the toilet was leaking, I went ahead and I bought a cap for the toilet line so I could cap that off and put the whole system under pressure so I could check everything else because I knew that the toilet was leaking. I did buy a fitting for the toilet, um, like your standard in-house one. And uh, of course it's not the same size. So I, um, I, I just cut the um, hose coming into the toilet. I capped it and then I filled up the water tank, turned on the water pump and I checked all the faucets. This one test, tested out in the kitchen, which I knew it would, it did yesterday. I did the same thing in the bathroom for the bathroom faucet. And then what I didn't get to yesterday because I had the leak and I kind of panicked was I, chest, I checked the shower with our oxygenic shower head. That works fantastic. No leaks anywhere. I also went on the back side of the shower, which is in the kitchen, just to check the connection in here. There was no leak. Then I went outside to our outside shower, which actually comes in right here. And there's no leaks in here either. So all that is good news. The water system works. The toilet was the weak link. So once I get the toilet fixed, which funny story as it goes, I'm playing around with the toilet and it slips out of my hand, falls down and the toilet seats crack off. So we could either buy replacement toilet seats if they even sell them, or I think we're gonna be toilet shopping. But we'll see what Lindsay says. She's out uh, shopping right now, doing an Instacart. So when she gets back, I'm gonna do the high five, put her on to, I think she's gonna go ahead now that the shower is done. There's some waterproofing she's gonna do in there. Let her take a look at the toilet, figure out if she wants to um, invest in that upgraded toilet or just get the most basic one. We also need to test our hot water heater, which is right down there. Uh, Lindsay thinks we need to replace, I know we need to replace an anode and then there's something else that we may need to do, to do with that. This is the best shot we have, although it's not easy to work with or access, um, but we may go ahead and do that while we're again countertop up. But trying to avoid too many issues going on at one time, too many things that we're trying to tackle at one time, one at a time, we'll knock it all out and we'll be done. <coughs> One of the thing that's going on is that I am now draining the water from our holding tank. So you can see in our RV, the water comes in in the rear. It comes in through this hose right here. This is the air hose. It goes underneath. This is our bed right here. And it goes to the water tank. There's a drain valve right here. So I've got it open. I'm draining it out because there was a leak and uh, where the water pump is. And I'm gonna address that sometime next week. I don't, I don't have the energy to do it right now. But this is our water pump. And this connector going in there had a leak. So it could be with the threads, which I hope it's not the threads of the water pump, or more likely it's just the connection right here so i'm going to look for another one of these little elbows i might buy some new hose i might clean up all all the hose i might clean up all the hoses in here um just because but if it ain't broke don't fix it that's a good mentality to have hey everyone so tonight while chris is at work i am going to work on the shower um i need to seal the cedar uh, just to give it some extra protection against the water because it most likely will get wet being that it is a shower wall and Chris did an awesome job um, doing the copper pipe today it looks great but I'm gonna have to uh, I already unscrewed it and I have to take this off so I can seal this wood and I'm going to lightly sand um, in between coats, obviously, um, with the coats, they need to dry before you can sand. So it's going to take 
a couple of days to really finish this because it's going to need several coats of the sealer. And I chose to use water locks. I've heard um, good things about it. It was not cheap, it was kind of pricey. Um, but I'm gonna use it on the countertops. I'm gonna use it on the shower. Everything that's wood that needs to be sealed, I'm gonna use it on. Um, and it's supposed to be really good. It's uh, tongue oil, also with resin, and it's, um, I don't know if I can say it's all natural, but it's safe, so like, you know, it's food safe, it's not toxic, you know, breathing in toxic fumes and all that. Um, but I will probably turn the fan on at some point, just so I'm not breathing in a bunch of stinky fumes, because it does smell bad.